and welcome to Fictional Narrative. Today I'm setting up my reading journal. I wanted to set up a reading journal to get the most out of my reading experience. Normally, I'm more of a writer than an artist with my journals, but this would be a good way for me to get creative as well. So the journal I will be using, as well as the cover, are for mochi things. Most of my stickers come from Etsy, Wish, Daiso, or my best friend, who started her own store. She made this sticker of me based off a picture where I was being silly and wearing a lampshade thing. Today, I want to focus on creating a title page, a goal page, and some index pages. I find index pages are easier than planning out a whole table of contents. Eventually, I will be including monthly pages to briefly track my progress, and I will also be keeping my reviews on here. I also want to talk about my experience with booktube so far and do a mid-year check-in. I've never done a mid-year check-in before, so this might be a little strange. It hasn't been too long since I started my booktube channel, but one thing that hit me right away was the pressure to read quickly instead of leisurely. Even then, I had things like school and work which diverted my attention. Keeping up with this channel became harder and harder. While my channel is still small, I still felt the pressure to create content regularly, I also felt that the content I was putting out was repetitive and didn't make me happy. Now I'm taking a different direction which I actually enjoy. I think enjoyment is a key ingredient in keeping my channel going. If I didn't like books or I didn't want to talk about them, I wouldn't have started this channel. I also want to make my channel a place of peace and happiness. On the topic of enjoyment, I decided to reevaluate how I rate books. My overall rating tends to come from a critical point of view instead of an enjoyment point of view because my brain has filtered them separately. However, there have been cases where I didn't enjoy something well written and I did enjoy something that wasn't well written. I don't feel like one rating encompasses everything I think and feel. It's an individual thing. Moving forward, when I do book reviews, I'm going to be having a rating and an enjoyment rating, which is going to be purely for me. My yearly goal was to read 35 books, and while I'm moving the number up as the year goes along, I'm considering all books after 35 a bonus, since I've already reached my yearly goal. It's a small switch in mindset which takes away the pressure of seeing only a number goal. I was able to reach my goal thanks to audiobooks, which I would like to move away from. I will probably be finishing the Hercule Poirot series via audiobook, but that's the only plan for that medium for the rest of the year. My main goal is to read all the unread books on my fiction bookshelf, which is the big one I usually sit in front of in my videos. I'm likely going to unhaul all the ones that I didn't enjoy. 
I want to keep books that I would reread time and time again. It's a long winding way to unclutter, but I feel it's the best way to give all the books I already own a fighting chance. This is why I probably won't be doing any more hauls anytime soon. Hopefully, it'll actually save me money to put toward refilling my bookshelf like a vicious cycle. This is a goal that will be the hardest to achieve and will take more than the next six months. But I'm excited to see what progress I've made by the end of the year. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from me, make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one!